Hello students, welcome to this video lesson in ICT for grade 8 series. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to draw flowcharts involving selection. Let us start by looking at the contents of the lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn first what a selection in a flowchart is. We will then see how to execute instructions in a selection. We will also learn how to draw flowcharts involving selection. Then we will have a quick test to check how well you understood the lesson. At the end of the lesson, we will have a recapitulation of what we learned in this lesson. Let us start. What is a selection in a flowchart? While executing instructions to solve a problem, we may reach a point where more than one way to proceed is possible. A decision needs to be made. Which path to choose? Which instruction to execute next? This decision making is called selection. Let us see some examples of how a selection is used in a flowchart. Our first example is to determine if a person can register as a voter. Remember, to register as a voter, a person must be aged 18 or more. Here is a first attempt to solve our problem. Instruction 1, get person's age. Instruction 2, person cannot register as a voter. Instruction 3, person can register as a voter. What is the problem with this solution? Instructions are carried out in a sequence, that is, one after the other. Both instruction 2 and instruction 3 will be carried out. We need to execute either instruction 2 or instruction 3, not both. This means a selection is required. We will now learn how to solve a problem using selection. We will also learn how to draw a flowchart using selection. But before that, let us recall the symbols used to draw a flowchart. Recall flowchart symbols. Let us recall the symbols used to draw flowcharts. What is the name and function of each? An oval shape represents start or end. It indicates where the flowchart starts or ends. A parallelogram represents input or output. Input is a point at which data is received and output is a point at which results are shown. A rectangle or box represents a process. It indicates some form of data manipulation. An arrow represents a flow line. It indicates the next instruction to execute. A decision box is used to represent a selection or decision in a flowchart. It indicates a place where we have to make a choice. using a decision box in a flowchart. A decision box indicates a place where we have to make a choice by answering a question. The question is written inside the decision box. The question has only two possible answers, yes or no. The answer will determine the next step to follow. A decision box has one 
incoming flow line but two outgoing flow lines. Each arrow that flows out of a decision box is labeled with one of the two possible choices, yes or no. With this information, we are now ready to design selection flowcharts. Let us consider our problem again to determine if a person can register as a voter or not. Let us start by listing our instructions. Get age of person. Is age less than 18? If yes, person cannot register as a voter. If no, that is age is equal to or greater than 18, the person can register as a voter. Let us now build our flowchart. Obviously, the first symbol will be the start symbol and a flow line to point to the next step. Consider the instruction get age of person. This is an input operation, a point at which data is received. Hence, we use a parallelogram shape with the instruction input age written inside and add it to the flowchart. Let us add a decision box to our flowchart. As we are aware, a decision box has two outgoing flow lines. One for each possible answer, yes or no. If the answer to the question in the decision box is yes, we follow the yes flow line and output the information cannot register as a voter in a parallelogram. But if the answer to the question in the decision box is no, we follow the no flow line and output the information can register as a voter in a parallelogram. Our problem is solved. We can end the flowchart. Flow lines coming from both outputs lead to the end symbol. This is how our final flowchart will look like. Let us see another example of how selection is used in a flowchart. Our problem is checking the answer to a quiz question. What are the steps to solve this problem? Display question to participant. Get answer from participant. If answer is correct, display correct answer. Otherwise, display incorrect answer. Let us draw the flowchart for this problem. As usual, we begin with the start symbol, display the question, get the answer from the participant, use a decision box to evaluate the answer. The only possible answers are correct or incorrect. Draw outgoing flow lines representing each possibility and use output boxes to display the results. We can now end the flowchart. Those were examples that will help you to draw selection flowcharts correctly. We will now have some questions to check how well you understood the lesson. Read each question carefully and answer accordingly. We will start with some multiple choice questions. Question 1. 
a selection is also called a first option manipulation second option decision third option process we learned at the beginning of the lesson that a selection is a point at which a decision is taken option b is the correct answer next question which symbol represents a selection in a flowchart a rectangle b parallelogram or c diamond shape a rectangle represents a process a parallelogram represents input or output and a diamond shape represents a selection hence the correct answer is c next question in a selection flowchart some steps are not executed all steps are executed steps are executed one after the other a selection means to make a choice therefore we choose which instructions will be executed and which will not this means there are some instructions that are not executed making option a the correct answer let us now see some true false questions a selection indicates a place where we have to make a choice true or false this is true selection involves answering a question to decide which step to execute next hence making a choice another true false question a decision box has one incoming flow line but two outgoing flow lines is this true or false A decision box has two outgoing flow lines, one for each possible answer. The statement is therefore true. This question brings us to the end of the quick test. Were you able to get all the correct answers? I'm sure you did. It is time now to have a recapitulation of what we learned in this lesson. A selection involves making a decision by answering a question a decision box or diamond shape represents a selection in a flowchart a selection allows to choose which instruction to execute next the recap brings us to the end of this lesson on designing flowcharts using selection I hope you enjoyed watching it. Until we meet for another video lesson, I wish you plenty of success in your studies. Goodbye.